Good afternoon, YouTubers, friends, and family. RV Debs here, and it is Sunday. Sunday afternoon, I am looking forward to going out to dinner tonight again. Uh, yup, I'm going out to dinner again. Chico's last night in town. So we're going to go out to um, a place called Ryan's. Yup. So that's good. And that's happening in a, well, it's 4 o'clock now. I'm going out at 5. That's a real nice thing to do, and I'm in the mood, so that's a good, yay. Anyway. Good evening, everyone. RV Debs here. It is 2.20 in the morning, so that makes it Monday. <laughs> Very early. I just wasn't sleepy tonight, so I thought that I would put out a little video about my day. Um, today, I had... Actually, I had dinner this evening with Chico one last time, and he's leaving in the morning. I guess he's heading out on his journey, and uh, so he's leaving tomorrow. We decided to have a dinner together tonight and went to a really nice little place um, called Ryan's, and we neither one of us felt like videoing, and that was fine. I, I just enjoyed a real nice dinner, and it was good to see him one more time, and we won't probably see each other for a while. Probably a long time. But he said he's going to come to Oregon to visit, and that would be cool. I think he'd love it. So, that was nice. And then after that, decided I would put some paints on my canvas. And I did another moon, another yellow moon. Because um, I have sold a few of these. Each one comes out different, though. Yeah, so I'm going to list that on Etsy. And it's um, got the kind of canvas that is like an inch. I guess that's an inch, half inch, half inch thick. And then um, I guess I'm going to list. I'm not sure if I want to sell this. We'll see. But I'll probably list it. And not, not because I... I guess maybe because I'm going there, it would, it would be a fun thing to have on my wall. So maybe I'll leave it. Yeah, I think I'll keep it. I don't know. I just sold that one. So that should be... Uh, thank you very much for uh, buying the paintings and the hats and my headbands. I want you to know how much that helps me. Um, it's not easy, you know, when you get my age and you're only on Social Security, which really is not enough. But I've been fortunate. I, I really feel fortunate that I can paint and that people like the paintings enough to want to buy them. So it's a win-win situation because it's good for me to paint and... Um, sometimes I'll make jewelry. I haven't done that in a long time, but I used to make really beautiful jewelry. So one thing I know you can count on is that I'll be doing something creative and offering it on my Etsy channel because that is, that's my, um, my extra to keep me going. And, I, and what's really freaky is that I did have a bunch more money, but life has a way, you know, of coming up with things that you need and but I, right now I'm at a point where I don't know how much I'm going to need to get across this big country. I have enough, I believe, and then my friends coming and sharing some of the expense, but when I get to the other side, I want to I want to have a little cushion, God forbid something I need done. You you guys know that. Anyway, so I'm thinking about that, and every time someone, lately, um, my hats, you know, have been selling, and paintings have been selling, and I'm, like, super, super grateful and thankful, um, because I really haven't been painting very much, so I'm trying to get back into it. I really am. I'm going to try, even when I'm traveling, to keep some sort of flow uh, going every time... I can anyway, um, but I do appreciate this because it's expensive to travel, 
and every time I think about how much it costs to really travel and enjoy yourself, I'm not saying eat out even. I'm saying cook your own meals, but the gas and the RV parks that are nice and uh, if you go to a motel or whatever, but I mean, it's just expensive to eat on the road and life's expensive. Life is expensive. Yeah. Anyway, that's just what I was thinking tonight. Um, but I am so grateful to everybody that has bought something. And on my on my home page on my channel, there is fan funding, and I I've never gotten anything from fan funding. But it was offered, and I thought, what the heck, you know, I'll put it up there, and like, it's there. If um, anyone who feels like they'd like to help support the channel, but maybe they don't want to buy a, a painting, you know, it would help me greatly. Because I really have a feeling I'm going to um, go through everything I have on my trip there. Um, but I am very happy to have you here and in, in watching the channel and not have to buy anything. It, you know, I know what it's like not to have extra bucks. So that is not what I'm trying to do. It's just something that, you know, this is a, a channel that I, I love this. I love creating content that is from my heart. Um, I want to keep it interesting. So I know on the trip I'll be seeing really, and yes, I'm different than other people. You know, you're going to see what I see through my eyes and how I can express what I'm seeing and sharing. Somebody else might, might sound more professional, like they're a travel guide and get all the, you know, particulars. Um, I'm just going to do this as me, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to do the best I can to make it interesting as I cross this, you know, country going up to Oregon. And, and what, that was another thing. Oh yeah. I'm rambling tonight. Well, I lived in Key West for like three years and that was a really, that was a really good time in my life. I was 30 years old. And I was playing guitar and singing for my living. Um, and I, that was the, I had one particular place called Two Friends Patio Bar, on, right on Duval and Front Street, across from the comp train. Um, there's a place called Two Friends Patio, and it's a family-owned restaurant. I sang and played guitar there for about a year and a half. So that was a special, really special job. Riding my bicycle you know, to the club, I'd leave my guitar in a closet locked. Those are, that's one of my very best times. And, uh, that's like the, what is it? The southernmost, uh, the southernmost little city in the United States. And now by some weird coincidence, I'm going to Port Orford, Oregon and that is the westerly, the most west, the farthest west point in the United States that sticks out from the continent. Isn't that wild? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that's what's going, that's what's going on tonight. And I'm going to just uh, try to go to bed. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I hope you all have a good evening. You probably already had a good evening. So I hope you all have a good morning. For those of you getting up and having coffee. Um, that's, a, that's a wonder. I love that time of day. Yeah, big mug of coffee and check out videos and say hi. You know, just I, I have a lot of people I, I follow. So it's kind of neat to know that, that you're following me. Yeah. I'm not always perfect, and if I I didn't mean to snap at anybody, I was kind. I since I moved from the hilltop, I'm trying to just mellow out about you know like where I am and people around me, just doing my own thing, really. And um, the move was the best thing for me. That's something I wanted to share with you guys. Um, moving from the hilltop to this park was really good for me. I really like this place. 
I enjoy it so much. What a wonderful change from my last month. And it's not anything heavy. I just really was glad that I did this. And um, do I want to tell everybody where I am exactly? No. What I think I'm going to try to do when I'm traveling is keep it like it probably will work out that it's a day behind. And that's the way it should be for now, you know. And yes, you guys know I'm going to Oregon. If, and if anybody wants to come say hello, I'll be there. I'm not hiding. I just think that I'll be a little more careful um, with what I with what I share. That's all, you know. Just, I'm a little. I'm I had my channel now what a, a year and a few months, and uh, I've learned, you know. So if you're starting out, you know, just finding me, and you go back and you see the videos that I've put out. I mean, I've changed a lot. To myself, I can tell. You know, um, I've been through a lot. And, um, you know, it's just something that I'm growing as a person. And I go through um, a, a lot of emotions. The feeling that I am alone in this world that friends have become very important to me, which, thank goodness, because I needed them. I do need my friends. Um, but I lost my family, and I lost my husband, and I kind of feel like I'm supposed to, you know, I don't think there's mistakes. I think we're supposed to go through the things we go through. So, but I have succeeded. Uh, really, I came from a very dark place to a very light place now. I am really excited to get to get going and I'm very careful and believe me uh, Chris and I will, will be very careful with how we travel and take every precaution that I can I have full insurance and I have good Sam and all I have uh, all stays on my phone and I've got freecampground.com I think it is and I have um, RV Parky, I think that's another one. I have lots of stuff um, on my phone, so I think I got. It. I think I've got it covered. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, and I promise to be you know as interesting as I can. So, anyway, thanks for all the support and friendship, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Anybody that you know, I, I'm gonna put this tomorrow on Etsy. So, another moon. Yellow moon over Alabama. Anyway. Good night. Or good morning.